Apple has released the latest watchOS 6.1 update, which not only brings performance improvement, but also it brings watchOS 6 on Apple Watch Series 1 and Apple Watch Series 2. And that's a great news for the owner of the watch. WatchOS 6 was already released in last month. Apple Watch Series 1 and Series 2 was not part of this. Now with this update, WatchOS 6.1, they can get the update on their watches. Now also this WatchOS 6.1 update brings support for Apple's new AirPod Pro, which features active noise cancellation for the first time. Now I'll suggest you to watch this video till the end to get better idea about the WatchOS 6.1 updates and more features. And I'm so I'm gonna talk about the jailbreak. If you have iPhone, iPad, iPod, and if you're running iOS 13 or any older device like 12.4.1, now this is the time. Jailbreak community is working hardly on it. iOS 13 jailbreak Chakra 1 is working on it. It's very near to the full jailbreak. They announced the date for the November 7 and 8. Probably the jailbreak will come on that the particular day if their plan will go accordingly. <laughs> Hey what's up this is Shivam and welcome to Tech Pro Shivam channel. Bringing you a lot of tech reviews, unboxing videos, iPhone, Android, streaming devices, tips and tricks. I do a lot of jailbreaking videos. Now if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified because every time I post an interesting video like you see now. So let's get into today's video. Now if you go to the phone, Apple Watch app in general and in uh, about, you can see I'm running watch OS. 6.0 which i have already downloaded last month also by going to the apple watch to the setting general about you can see i'm running uh, 6.0 watch os now i have a watch os 6.1 update on my watch and this watch os 6.1 introducing support for airpod pro and includes improvement and bug fixes and also this update brings watch os 6 to apple watch series 1 and series 2 now coming to how to download watchOS 6 on your Apple Watch. For series 1 and series 2, you can go to the you can go to your iPhone, search for watch app, go to the general option and software update. There you can get watchOS 6.1 update. Hit install and download and you're going to get software update notification on your watch. Once you got that notification, uh, provide the proceed button and it will verify your watch and installation will be begin. Now I'm gonna show you the different method for already installed 6.0 version uh, on series 3, series 4 and series 5. Now you can go to your watch um, settings, general and software update and hit that download and install button. Then the installation will be begin. Now what this will done, it will install directly from your watch. Also you can watch from your mobile. To download this update you're gonna need Wi-Fi on your device or on your watch. Also very important note, to install the update, make sure Apple Watch is on its charger in range of your iPhone connected to Wi-Fi. Installation will start when Apple Watch is charged to at least 50%. Do not restart or remove it from charger until the update is complete. Update is downloaded, the installation process will start and the Apple logo will appear on your watch. You can see now the installation is begin. Now you can see the Apple logo is appear and on my iPhone you can see the watch OS 6.1 software is up to date. Once we're done with the installation process, now we, we're gonna scroll through the Apple Watch. Now I have some additional watch faces on my watch because of uh, I have Nike version and uh, Nike version have some additional watch faces. Now these are the watch faces you can see on your phone, Apple Watch faces section. The standard version you will not see Nike watch faces uh, so note that so there are the new watch faces on your watch right now after installing watch os 6 it's called um, numeral duo something like there are tons of uh, watch faces that you can customize and uh, you can make different different colors and all that if you want any apple watch face on your watch select your watch face select the color you wanted and the style you wanted scroll through that change the color and add and it will appear on your Apple Watch like this. These are the watch faces you're gonna get on your watch. These are the few old uh, watch faces and in this section you can see uh, these are the watch faces I already synced to my uh, Series 3 watch Nike version. Okay, once you sync your Apple Watch faces to the Apple Watch. Now if you look at the watch, if you swipe left or right, you can see the watch faces you can switch directly from there or if you wanna customize anything, 
you 3d touch it swipe left swipe right to get your watch face and you can customize it and there are three sections at top top of the watch you can see the first one will be for changing the style of the watch faces you can use your crown button to scroll down and scroll up for changing the style of the text if you see in the second section by scrolling the crown you can see changing the gradient color in different different colors and the third section will be you can change your uh, gradient type in different different colors and there are tons of watch faces that you can customize like the same way apart from this the apple watch series 3 4 and 5 already has a watch os 6 included for those bugs fixes and improvement will be there and, and the battery life also improved now in this new updates apple watch series 1 and series 2 a new apps are included watch os 6.1 update now let's talk about the apps we got the first app we're gonna talk about the voice memo now you can record your voice directly on your watch if you are a singer if you wanna note anything to record voice and this is the best feature for the watch users the second new app is find people if you have friends and they have the watch os 6 now they can share their location and you can find out them where they are exactly by this find people app and the third new app we're going to talk about cycle tracking and this is for the girl and if you want to track your cycle tracking open the health app on your iphone to set up the cycle tracking the next app will be very interesting and that is called the app store on your apple watch the first time app store is coming on your apple watch and that brings a lot of apps on your apple watch itself you can go no longer need of iphone to download any apple watch app now you can able to search discover and download apps directly from your watch also i noticed that individual radio app will be available on watch now you can listen to your favorite station like radio city or beat ones by using your airpods or any bluetooth devices and there is also a music app individual app that you can listen on your watch now there is also a new app called podcast now separately given on your apple watch now you can download and listen any podcast on your apple watch directly and also there is an individual calculator app on your apple watch and there is some improvement in the breathe option and these are the cool apps you're gonna get on your watch series 1 and series 2 after updating watch os 6.1 now by going to the setting in general uh, in about you can check your latest version what you're running right now we are running with the 6.1 which is up to date and there is also individual button for software update in general and also the app store setting app and also from here you can uh, do some setting in your app store uh, something like automatic download on or off automatic updates on or off you can control from here itself and that's it guys i try to cover all the points and i hope i have given a nice information if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button uh, subscribe and share i'm ready to answer for your any questions go ahead and comment in the comment box thank you for watching the video have fun and this is shivam signing off peace like